Well, the summer months are here and this heat can be dangerous. In fact, hospital visits are up because of it. So tonight, Gabby Blue, she joins us now with some ways to stay safe. Gabby? Jennifer, I had the chance to speak to Surgeon General Dr. Ralph Abraham and Dr. Miguel Lopez, a family medicine physician from Oshner LSU Health in Monroe. They were both able to provide me tips on how people can stay cool during the excessive temperatures. In the hotter days of the month, uh, there is a continued increase in regards to the potential risk, which makes it all that much more important for people to be able to recognize the symptoms of heat illness. Dr. Miguel Lopez with Oshner LSU Health in Monroe says all ages can be affected by heat related illness, especially babies and the elderly. He says the later parts of the summer is where the risk progress. Into the better part of August and early September, this is where we're going to have the most potential for problems. Surgeon General Dr. Ralph Abraham says emergency room visits have more than doubled in the last year and hospitals are seeing an uptick in heat related illness visits. He also says it is better to go to the hospital or urgent care when it comes to experiencing severe symptoms. I would much rather someone go and not need to instead of wait too long and then it's too late. He can kill you. Dr. Abraham also says ways for you to help someone if they are experiencing symptoms. Get them to an air conditioning spot immediately. Start putting some wet towels around their neck, uh, their forehead, under their arms, uh, on their torso. Doctors say some of the most common symptoms of heat-related illnesses include becoming lightheaded, increased thirst, nausea, fainting, confusion, and slurred speech. Dr. Lopez explains the best ways to take precautions. Making sure they keep themselves hydrated. Moving activities that have to be outdoors into the early morning or late afternoon and evening when it's you know cooler. Avoiding um, multi-layered clothing or heavier clothing. Doctors say the best way to stay hydrated is to drink water in low sugar sports drinks with electrolytes and limiting caffeine and avoiding alcohol. Dr. Abraham explains how often you should stay hydrated. You, we all heard or hear that eight ounces of, of water eight times a day. For some people that may be enough, but the key is listen to your body. For more information on how you can stay safe this summer, visit our website at knoe.com. Jennifer.